This video continues the presentation for Chapter 13 on Fundamental Equilibrium Concepts. This video is a continuation of the video presentation for Chapter 13.4. In this video, we will solve Problem 1 from the lecture handouts. Problem 1 involves the reaction between hydrogen gas and iodine gas to form hydrogen iodide. We're told that the Kp for this reaction is 76 at a temperature of 600 Kelvin. If 0 0.050 moles of hydrogen iodide are placed in a 1 liter flask at 600 Kelvin, what will the equilibrium partial pressures of all the species be? First, what we want to do is go ahead and set up an ice table for this reaction. We start by writing the reaction across the top, including their coefficients. We then make rows for initial change and equilibrium. We also want to write the K expression. In this case, we're given a Kp and a value of 76. So when we write the expression, we want to use partial pressures. So this would be the partial pressure of the product Hi squared because of the two coefficient and the balanced chemical equation over the partial pressure of H2 and the partial pressure of I2. Now we need to start filling in our ice table. What other information is given? We're told that we're adding 0 0.05 moles of Hi in a 1 liter flask at 600 Kelvin. Partial pressure of any gas is equal to its moles times the ideal gas constant R times the temperature in Kelvin divided by the volume of flask. So we have 0 0.05 moles of HI times the ideal gas constant We want to use the value with liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin times the temperature in Kelvin, which was given as 600 Kelvin, and divide by the volume of the flask. Plugging this into our calculator, we get a value of 2.46 atmospheres. Where does this go in our table? This is the initial partial pressure of HI, so we're going to place that here. And we'll assume that hydrogen and iodine started off at zero atmospheres. Which way is the reaction going to proceed as it goes towards equilibrium? Since we're starting with only products in this case, the reaction must actually proceed in the reverse direction. So in this case, we'll use our minus 2x to indicate the change for the hydrogen iodide and plus x for each of the partial pressures of hydrogen and iodine. The equilibrium row is always the sum of the initial and the change, so that gives us x for hydrogen, x for iodine, and 2.46 minus 2x for the hydrogen iodide. We can now plug these into our expression for the, equ for the equilibrium constant. So on top, we have 2.46 minus 2x, but we have to square that, uh, square that partial pressure. And on the bottom, we have x times x, or if we rewrite that, we would have it over x squared. I'm going to move to the next slide and rewrite this equation. So let's continue with our problem. We're starting with 76 equals 2.46 minus 2x quantity squared divided by x squared. And we want to solve this equation for x. What we have here is an example of a perfect square. And that's nice because it's going to make our math a little bit easier. What we can do is take the square root of both sides. 
The square root of 76 is 8.72, and on the right side we're left with 2.46 minus 2x over x. Multiplying both sides by x, we have 8.72x is equal to 2.46 minus 2x. Adding 2x to both sides gives us 10.72x is equal to 2.46. And dividing both sides by 10.72 gives us that x is equal to 0 0.23. What we want to do now is plug this back into our expressions for the equilibrium concentrations of all of our species. If we recall from the previous slide, the partial pressure of hydrogen at equilibrium was determined to be x. So this is going to be 0 0.23 atmospheres. The partial pressure of the iodine gas is also x, so also 0 0.23 atmospheres. The partial pressure of the hydrogen iodide gas, on the other hand, was 2.46 minus 2x, or 2.46 minus 2 times 0.23, and when we do the math on that, we get 2.00 atmospheres. This concludes problem 1 from chapter 13.4.